hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be reading 20 scary stories that you guys have left in my comments on tiktok let's get started as you guys know i'm going to be reading them off my ipad so here we go it's from girl underscore shut up all right girl when i was little and i was sleeping i woke up in the middle of the night with my older sister saying my name madeline she was next to me but when i looked at her nothing was there and she was fast asleep but when i tried to sleep again she set my name next to my ear but touching me we have bunk beds she sleeps all the way on the top it takes her a long time to get up and get down it makes a lot of noises today i'm still wondering what was what it was until one night we both kept hearing many noises in the kitchen until we saw a creature that was tall guys i wish you would give me follow-ups because like what frick happened after you saw the tall creature <laughs> if girl underscore shut up if you're watching this video please leave in the comments what happened after please okay this next one is from leah leah t so once my great aunt was getting ready to go somewhere and a voice in her head said look left and right three times at the at the stop sign she didn't think much of it and kept getting ready to go she heard it again and as she got in the car she was driving and came to a light she heard it for the third time she decided to listen to the voice she looked left and right twice as she was looking the third time a car came flying out of nowhere if my aunt hadn't looked for the third time she would have gotten in an accident the voice saved her oh my god that's so crazy oh god i feel like i'm dying okay this story is from xx demonic fury xx <laughs> my mom collects clowns and she has two that are about four feet tall throughout the years i would always hear all the clowns talk in the middle of the night and the little ones would sometimes face the big ones when i turned the lights on to go to the kitchen my best friend has even seen with me we both refuse to go near any clowns now. This is not the only scary story I have. Oh, oh my god, I've got to shake that one off. This one is from Becky underscore VIP underscore 11. A year ago, I was talking with my cousin and we were talking about haunted dolls. And she asked if I still had the Annabelle doll. And I started freaking out because I didn't have an Annabelle doll. And she told me when she was younger, she had an Annabelle doll and it went missing. And then she found it again and it gave it to me. And I was like, why the heck would she give me an Annabelle doll? She told me I love playing with it. This is from Ahihi Pasta underscore me. <laughs> okay, okay. When I was little, I used to sleep with my eyes open and scream for every hour of the night, but not wake up. My mom would come into my room and try to calm me, calm me down, but I would just scream and cry and stare at her. One night, I woke up from my screaming and tried running out of the house. I still don't know what was what was I so afraid of? Whoa. This next one is from user 219220B. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm not making funny of your, of your names. It's just like funny because sometimes I just can't pronounce some of these, but this one's easy as hell. When I was around five, my family and I went to Michigan to visit some family. I saw a lady in a long white dress with a long red burgundy hair holding on to the two angels but facing the wall. She told me my uncle was in trouble. I didn't want to tell anyone because I was scared. I wasn't sure what uncle, by the way. I ended up telling my aunt, and a week later, my uncle was kidnapped in Mexico. Oh my god. That's so sad. Is he okay? Can you let us know? Please give us an update. This is scary. <coughs> oh god, I'm not, I'm not ready. This is from what I... I can't say that. Oh my God, I just realized what it said, okay. But one night in a very nice hotel, I had just went to sleep after about an hour. I woke up with sleep paralysis. It felt like somebody was rubbing my back. The person said, aren't you a good boy? I wish you can come to hell with me after I started praying. I read that wrong. It says, after that, I started praying. Ooh, I would have started praying like way before that. <clears throat> this is from How Do Mermaids Poop? In 2013, my grandpa died of a car crash, but one week before he died, I took my mom's phone, which I normally do to make funny videos, and my mom said that I had said, oh no, we are all so sad, he's, going to, he's gone too soon. Oh no, I can't see, help, help, boom. And so basically a week before my grandpa died, I predicted he would die the next week in an accident. 
in a ditch. No cap. My mom still has a video of me saying it. Oh my God. This is from vertex point underscore point future. Okay, this might not be scary. I already know. Every time you guys say this might not be scary, it's going to be scary. It's going to be scary. Once I was chilling at home with my little brother and he was in the room and I was in the living room. Why are these not in order? No. Once I was chilling at home with my little brother and he was in my in my room and I was in the living room. My little brother came in the living room and pointed to my mom's door and said, Hey, and by the way, he is six. I looked at my mom's door and I was talking to him about it saying, What did you see? And he said, There was a tall man next to mom, mom's door. I went to go look, but there was nothing. So I told him there was nothing. And then five minutes later, all I see was my mom's door fly open. And I saw the door and it was closed again. Oh, but this might not be scary. You lied. This one is from Jacob Jack Jacques Castilli. I hope I'm saying that right. I used to share a room with my sister and my brother. One night... This doll my sister had started talking and said, look behind you. Then I looked back and there was a dark figure with red glowing eyes. I looked back at the doll and it was gone. I looked back at the window and saw the doll with, I saw the doll with the figure. Lucky I moved, but my sister lives near my old house and I walked over and I saw a black figure and red glowing eyes and the doll. Why would you go back? You could not pay me a million dollars to go back if this happened to me. Okay, maybe a million, yeah. Oh, I was capping, I'm sorry. Okay, this is from Ariana Marcos or Marcus. Hi, I have a story. My dad used to live in Mexico with my grandma and I, I forgot how old he was, but one day he said my grandma, mom, can you tell the little kid to stop watching me sleep? My grandma was confused and said, what kids? My dad said the kids by the tree with no color. Their skin, clothes and face are just black. My grandma and dad still experience some things, but it stopped now. I've also stayed there and something happened to me as well. What happened to you? Oh my gosh, no. This is from Festival of Fools. When my daughter was around three to four, she came out of her room in the middle of the night and said she couldn't sleep because the shadow people wouldn't stop messing with her stuff and waking her up. But wait, there's more. My children are six years apart in age. When my son was little, he wouldn't sleep in his own room because the shadow people scared him. My daughter doesn't remember them, so she never told him about them. Oh my god. This is from point underscore point how point r point you. <laughs> I have a story. When I was younger, me and my brother went to my grandma's house. Like always, we went straight to her room just to clear. I did not know about this story until one day my grandma told me. So we went to her and ran out because my grandma said we saw a little boy sitting on her bed sorry oh my god that scared me i thought you meant like sitting on her sitting on her bed i was so freaked out when i heard that but i believed her she even said that sometimes she would tilt her head a little to see her room and she would sometimes see a lady standing in there i'm just glad my grandma moved from there i do not want to experience that mm, thank god she did because that sounds really scary this is from random underscore five six seven six I have a story to tell, even though you won't see this comment. Ah, I did see your comment. So when I was about the age of six or seven, my mom and siblings went across the street to buy some stuff from the yard sale. She asked if I wanted to come and I said no. She asked if I wanted the TV on and I said no as well. As whoa, as whoa. When she left, I sat on the bed and started getting the chills that were coming from a dark room in the apartment. Then I went closer and sat in the chair that was close to it. It was so dark in there and I couldn't see anything. I then started to hear someone calling my name slowly three times. When I gathered the courage, I ran downstairs to my neighbor and cried, asked where my mom was and she said she'll be here soon. When my mom came, she turned into the, she went into the room, turned on the lights and found nothing there. And I went in and said there was nothing there but clothes. I never told anyone the story. Oh my gosh. This is from Anthony underscore 8771. A couple of years ago, I was like four. We went to my aunt's house for Christmas. We were going to play charades, but my cousin wasn't in the living room. So we went to her room to get her. And I saw her with a creepy smile and red eyes. I told her to come downstairs and she laughed and didn't respond. I ran downstairs. And when I was going to tell my family, I saw my cousin downstairs and I said, 
you were downstairs all this time? And she said, yeah, I've been here ready to play charades for a while. And I told them and I went back up and there was nothing there but red eyes. Oh, that sounds something like straight out of a scary movie. Okay, this is from ask.4.sophie. I have a scary story. One day my mom and stepdad went on a date so my big sister was taking care of me and my little brother. He was in his room and we heard a loud bang and he came crying, running, and we asked what was what was that? And he said that he, a black monster told him to play with him and he said no. And he slammed the door shut. We told him it was okay and to come hang out with us. The night passed and the night passed by and we woke up and started to talk to someone. Wait, what? The night passed by and he woke up and started to talk to someone in the pitch dark. Whew. Mm -mm. I feel like kids can see stuff, right? Okay, this is from Jocelyn Sanchez 6. When I was around 13 or 14, I used to have my bed against the wall and I always had to sleep with my back towards it. One night I was sleeping and I was turned the other way and I felt someone pull my blanket and I thought it was my brother's. I tried to smack them and I felt someone grab my thumb. It was cold, which made me get up and I realized I was sleeping against the wall. Nobody was behind me. To this day, when I talk about it, I feel the cold hand grabbing my thumb. Oh God, oh my God, no. I cannot, I cannot with this one. I feel like the worst, the worst part of this is like sometimes people don't believe your experiences because obviously they weren't there or they didn't feel what you felt. That's scary part because when people don't believe you and like if it happens again, who do you go to? Like, who do you go to help or like advise or like what to do? Okay, this next one is from Emily Denise 95. I have a scary story that just happened. I saw my 18 month old daughter walk into my sister's room. I was getting a donut off the table and I'm starting to walk towards the room. I was, I was getting ready to say, Isabella, get out of your tia's room. But before I could say anything, she walked out of my room. What? I know what I saw. She walked into my sister's room, or I thought it was her. I don't know, still freaked out and get chills. Woo! This is from point R, point E, point A. Rhea? This might not be scary, but when I was 11 or something like that, me and my sister and my cousins were home alone, and the whole lights in the neighborhood went out, so we got some candles and all that. But for some reason, I just went outside and saw a woman, but I didn't see her face or anything. It was almost black so I could see very good because it was night and I could swear that I heard her heels. She was coming in my direction. So I, so of course I ran inside and I told my sisters and cousins about it. They didn't believe me but I didn't go outside to check it out because I was scared. Of course, smart. But I looked from my window and no one was there. That's creepy as heck. Okay, this is from Haley.Young underscore. This really creeped me out. When I was at my mom's house, me and my stepbrother wanted to hang out, so we went to my room. He sat on the edge of the bed, so I sat near the headboard. I looked up at my door, and there was a girl that looked like my sister, but she didn't have a face. I screamed, but when my stepbrother went to look, she vanished. We called my sister, who was upstairs, and she said it wasn't her, and I still see her sometimes. Oh my god, I got chills. This is from Fullstead27. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. When me and my little brother were three and one, we had to play carpet. A carpet with toys on it. And it was and it was one place we didn't sit or walk on. And our mom said, You can't go on that place. And we just answered, No, because the man is sitting there. Some months later we were at our grandpa's grave, and then we said the man is dancing. P.S. We didn't meet our grandpa. He died before we were born. Well, we looked down on the grave and later we looked in a family book and then we saw a picture of him. He had, we had as said, never seen or met him. We said, that is the man that was dancing. And our mom didn't see the man on the carpet or the grave. So she was still confused. Okay guys, so that's all the stories that I have for right now. I hope those were good enough, but I still have more. And the reason why I'm doing these on YouTube is because 
my phone is basically screaming at me every day telling me that I have no more space left because I literally have all your screenshots on my phone so I'm just trying to make the stories and put them out there so I can have room for more and don't worry guys I'm also gonna put some on TikTok so I know a lot of you maybe not even don't even want your story on YouTube and if you don't I'm sorry I just want to share them because I feel like people need to hear all this creepy stuff. <laughs> okay guys, thank you so much for watching again. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye, I love you!